Welcome to a lesson on how to evaluate a def integral from the graphing screen of the TI-89 graphing calculator. Looking at the first def integral, the first step is to graph the integrand function. So we'll press diamond F1 to get to the y equals screen. Let's clear this old function by pressing up and then clear. And now we'll enter y1 equals 3x squared plus 1. So 3x raised to the power of 2 plus 1, enter. Now to get a nice view of this graph over the interval from 1 to 6, we'll need to adjust the window. To help us know how to adjust the window, let's go to the table. To access the table, we press diamond F5. Before we scroll up and down, notice how if we press F2 for table set, the table right now starts at 2 and changes by 1s, and the independent variable is on automatic. So if we escape this screen, notice how if we scroll up, when x is 1, the function value is 4, and when x is 6, the function value is 109. So the y-axis must go up to at least 109. So now let's go to the window by pressing diamond F2. For the x-axis, because the limits of integration are from 1 to 6, let's change the x minimum to negative 1, enter and the x maximum to, let's say, 7, enter. I always like to have the x minimum be negative so that we can see the origin. Let's leave the x scale by 1s, enter. And now for the y minimum, let's change this to negative 20, enter. And let's change the y maximum to 120, because remember, when x is 6, the function value is 109. And let's have the y scale be 20s, enter. And now let's press graph by pressing diamond F3. Notice how we have a nice view of the function over the interval from 1 to 6. Also know the integrand function is non-negative over this interval, and therefore the value of this def integral is going to be the area bounded by the function in the x-axis over the closed interval from 1 to 6. To evaluate the integral now, we press F5 for math, and then seven for integration. And now we enter the lower limit of integration, which is one, enter. Upper limit of integration is six, so we press six and then enter. Notice how it graphs the area bounded by the function of the x-axis over this interval, and below here it gives us the value of the def integral. The def integral is equal to 220, which means this area it's exactly 220 square units. Let's look at our second example. Let's go back to the y equals screen by pressing diamond F1, press up, and then clear to clear this function and enter the new function. So we have two second multiply brings up the square root, x close parenthesis plus four, enter. And again, let's take a look at the table so that we know how to adjust the window over the interval from 0 to 4. So we'll press diamond F5 for the table. Notice when x is 0, the function value is 4. And when x is 4, the function value is 8. So now let's adjust the window by pressing diamond F2. Let's leave the x minimum at negative 1, so we'll press enter. Let's change the x maximum to, let's say, 5. Enter. We'll leave the x scale at 1. Let's change the y minimum to negative 2. Enter. And the y maximum to, let's say, 10. Enter. And we'll also change the y scale to, let's say, 2. Enter. Let's graph and see how this looks. So diamond F3 for graph. Here's a graph of the integrand function. And notice how we have a nice view of the function over the closed interval from 0 to 4. And once again, notice how this function is non-negative over this interval, and therefore the value of the def integral is the area bounded by the function, the x-axis, over the closed interval from 0 to 4. To determine the value of the integral, we press F5 for math, number 7 for integration. Lower limit of integration is 0, so we press 0, enter. Upper limit of integration is positive 4. So we press 4 and enter. The area bounded by the function in the x-axis over this interval is shaded, and the value of the def integral is given here below. 
the calculator is giving us a decimal approximation for this integral. This is really 0.6 repeating. Let's go ahead and write this down, and we'll also show how we can get the exact value from the home screen. So it's approximately 26.6667. If we go back to the home screen by pressing home, notice how we are in exact mode. So for an exact or automatic mode, if we evaluate the integral from the home screen, we'll get the exact value, not the decimal approximation. So we press F3 for calculus, number two for integration. Now we enter the integrand function of two square root x close parenthesis plus four comma the variable of integration which is x comma lower limit of integration which is zero comma four the upper limit of integration close parenthesis and enter and notice how it gives us the exact value as 80 thirds so when determining the value of a definite integral from the graphing screen it will sometimes give the approximate value we'd have to evaluate from the home screen to get the exact value. I hope you found this helpful.